we got an all-star panel uh, that's ready to tackle some of today's most controversial headlines. Uh, first, you may know her as Jay Wow. It's Jen Farley. <laughs> and then we have Nicole Polizzi. I love that name. Yeah. You all know her as Snooky. <laughs> And first time ever making her panel debut, this woman has been my friend since the year 2000. I started on radio, and after they had me on the air by myself three days, they said, uh-uh. We gotta put somebody in that that knows radio. The creator and author of The Strawberry Letter, Shirley <laughs> Strawberry. Okay. Yeah. Hey. You're a TV star now. Yeah. All right, ladies, let's go. Okay, we can't have this panel without <clears throat> talking about Miley Cyrus. Okay, now, it seems that the former Hannah Montana star's not gonna be slowing down with her public controversies from her antics at the VMAs to her raunchy photo shoot. These are some photos. How do you feel about Miley today, Jenny? I miss Hannah. She was... She's stunning. She's beautiful. She has it all. She does not need to be dropping her drawers and hooking up with teddy bears to impress, I feel like, the public. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, I feel like she grew up. Like, Hannah Montana, she was, like, that little girl. So I feel like now she grew up, and she's like, oh, I love my boobs. I'm gonna show everybody my boobs. Like, she's literally a hippie. So I like the fact that she's, like, happy because she's being herself, but at the same time, I don't want my son to look at her. No. And I don't want my daughter to be her. I'm happy she's happy. You don't want like, your son to look herself, at her. But yeah. And you don't want her the daughter to be her. Yeah. Exactly. Shirley? See, I don't see happiness in that. I, I see a problem. I see a kid in dire need of some attention. I'm going to put her on my prayer list. I, I really am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to put... <laughs> she... Something, something is wrong there when someone wants that kind of attention. I mean, she needs some counseling or something. Yes. Yeah. She needs Jesus. Yes. Keep That's on my prayer list. <laughs> First of all, the thing that's really throwing me about this, this girl has talent. She should use it. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think you can go very far with this. You know, this, this is gonna get old, just like she's gonna get old. Yeah. You're gonna have a child one day, like you were saying. You know, you uh, got a daughter. Yeah. You don't want her to be her. No. You're gonna have a child one day. The stuff lives in cyberspace forever. But there's limits and boundaries. I, I mean, I think she's doing it for the sake of art or something like that. She's an artist, so she wants to see how far she goes. You always say as a comedian about that edge, you know, that edge, you don't want to go over the edge. I think she's over the edge way too far, and she needs to reel it in. I yeah. mean, I'm known, she's known for some things. Whatever. I'm known for some <laughs> things. <laughs> We've always brought it back, though, and what we did, we felt like was innocent, and we did it as a learning experience. That's not a learning experience. That's like on purpose. Like yeah. she's pushing the envelope and the boundaries. Yeah. But where do you go from that? Well, we cleaned up our act. Because, because you have children. Yeah. So she got to get pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's got to knock it off. Yeah. Basically. All right. Uh, well, more and more teens are rushing to get cosmetic procedures. In fact, a recent study uh, shows that nearly 18,000 teenagers opted for Botox in 2013. Now, some critics say that it's because young folks face more pressure than ever to look perfect, especially with stars such as 18-year-old Kylie Jenner openly getting work done. Do you think young women feel the pressure, Jenny? Coming from someone that's all natural... <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at 20, I got my boobs done, and it was my choice, but I was an adult, and I asked my parents, this is something for myself that I want to boost my self-esteem. So as a mother to a daughter, if my daughter had, like, an obnoxious, crooked nose that she couldn't breathe correctly out of, at 16, no right. problem. You can get it. If that's going to help you and that is going to boost your self-esteem, fine, but I want you to love you for you, and I want you to do this for you. Right. I don't want you to do it because some 18-year-old's on TV doing it. Right. Yeah. And Botox and, like, Juvederm and all that at 14, 15, 16, they're babies. They shouldn't be worried about wrinkles and, you know, trying to look like Kylie. It's just... That's absurd. Well, I just got my lips done. 
<laughs> You're an adult. Um, yeah, I'm 27 and... Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> That's the day after, so they were still, like, puffy. Uh -huh. But um, I did it because... Yeah, I know. They're mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were a little swollen there, but, you know, I wanted to feel a little bit more, you know, sexier, I guess. But, um, you know, as far as, like, example, Kylie Jenner, she's not done growing, her face isn't done growing and changing, and I just think it's way too early yeah. for her to be getting that stuff done. Like, I would yeah. never let my daughter yeah. do that. You're Unless it's right. for, like, a breathing problem. Yeah, you're yeah. absolutely right. I think that's the problem. They're too young. They're right. not mentally developed to handle it. Yep. And they're not completely physically developed to, um, you know, to start getting plastic surgery at such a young age. And with all these reality shows and with all these people getting plastic surgery, they're just living their lives, but they forget that when you're thrust in the public eye like that, you become a role model and people watch you, so you have to be conscious of that. Yes, if it's a medical problem, if if it's if you can't breathe, like you said, or, or something like that, yeah, but it, if it's it, just purely cosmetic, wait a little while until they're a little older. Parents, get involved in this. It's still okay to tell your kids yeah. no. I, look. It's not fully developed. All of us look at our high school pictures. Oh, the worst. I don't know how, but my face is at least double the size it was in high school. Yes. If you get something done as a teenager, mm -hmm. and your face, your body, or anywhere else you put it, has not developed, and when it does develop, that work that you've got done will not fit the new development. Yeah. You got to go back and get some more. So once you start it, you got to keep going. That's right. Because, <laughs> you know, you can get bigger breasts, but now, bigger breasts, they're, they're probably going to be heavier. And now, when they start to go down, <laughs> That's what probably, to me. that like, be like when my grandma was living, she yeah. used to just put her breasts in her apron pocket. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so...